So you clicked on this video because you want to find out more about the basics of cedar shake roofing. Now, the reason we're doing this video is I was trying to train one of my sales guys the other day and I was trying to get him some information on cedar shakes and no YouTube video I could find or article could I find had all the information about just the basics of cedar shakes, where they come from, how they're used, the benefits, the disadvantages, the cost, all the basics, all in one video. So today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So you might be wondering, who the heck is this guy giving me this information? Well, my name's Zach the Roofing Maniac. I'm the owner and president of Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. I'm also a US military veteran. So I promise you're in good hands. Let's get started with the video. Now, what is a cedar or a wood shake roof? Now, there are two specific different types of wood roofs. There's regular wood shingles and then there's cedar or wood shakes. Now, in the sake of this video, we're gonna be talking about wood or cedar shakes. Just know there is a difference, but we're going to be specifically talking about cedar wood shakes. Now, a cedar shake roof is a premium roof system made of natural wood of cedar materials. To make these type of shingles, shakes, they take large cedar trees and cut them into two foot sections and hand split or saw them into a tapered thickness, also known as taper sawn. Now, a shake is a rustic looking roofing shingle because they have been hand split it replicates the look of an axe or a mallet cut. They are rough and variable and almost always used for roofing, but can also be used as siding. Now let's talk about the three different wood shake types. We're gonna talk about heavy split and resawn, medium split and resawn, and then taper sawn. Now with heavy split and resawn, it's sawn on the backside while the face is split with the natural grain of the wood. It has a highly textured surface on the exposed face. This is the heaviest type of wood shake. With a very rugged and rustic appearance, available thickness for these shingles are three quarters of an inch, seven eighths of an inch, one inch, and a whopping one and one quarter inch. Now they can even get bigger, but this is the typical sizes that you're going to see for a heavy split and resawn wood shake. All right, next we have the medium split and resawn. Now, obviously, it's very similar to the heavy split and resawn shake, but not as thick and heavy. It produces a roof with a very textured appearance but the available thicknesses are normally half an inch to five eighths inch is what you're gonna see in a medium split versus the heavy split. Now, lastly, a taper sawn is actually sawn on both sides like a wood shingle. It's only thicker. This shake normally gives a naturally tailored look of a shingle accented by the sharper shadow line of a shake due to the thickness of the butt. It's that most popular type of wood roof, and the available thicknesses typically are 5 eighths of an inch, 7 eighths of an inch, and a full inch. Now you also have three different grades or quality of cedar shake. You have common, which is the cheapest, the most inferior. The next you have select, and then finally you have the 100% straight grain cedar shake shingles. This is the third and best quality of cedar shakes, and is 100% straight grain. Each one of these are hand selected and straight grained. Now, just to keep the length of this video somewhat short, we're actually not gonna go through the full installation of cedar shakes. Now, here's a diagram and the following diagram is how you install cedar shakes, but we have a separate video all dedicated to that. So I will put the card above for the cedar shake installation. So if you end up watching that video, you're gonna see my business partner, Chris McGuire here, who's our cedar shake installation expert installing a cedar shake roof for the National Park Service. Now the life expectancy you're going to see with a cedar shake roof is typically anywhere from 30 to up to 50 years so they last a very very long time. But a asphalt shingle roof only lasts typically anywhere from 10 to 25 years so when it comes to the length of how long they last for you can have up to double or triple the length of time that you would have an asphalt shingle roof. Now, how much do one of these roofs cost? Well, for a cedar shake roof, you're normally gonna spend about $1,000 to $1,500 per square. A square is 100 square feet for a premium cedar shake roof. Now, for a 2,500 square foot home, that means you're gonna spend about $36,000 to $54,000. Now, you could get one done for a little bit cheaper if you use stainless steel nails and you use common 
Cedar Shake instead of your premium products, but typically you're gonna spend about $1,000 would be your baseline, up to $1,500 per square. Now to summarize on Cedar Shakes, is there's no arguing that Cedar Shakes are some of the strongest, most durable roofing materials on the market. They're effective against UV rays, hail, and even heavy impacts, and can last up to 50 years or more. These roofs are completely immune to rust and can stain most winds, and obviously are biodegradable and green or eco-friendly. Cedar Shakes can have wind ratings of up to 173 miles per hour and a whopping 243 maximum, which makes them the most wind-resistant roofing products in the industry. Asphalt shingle, slate, tile, and metal can only achieve a wind rating of a maximum of about 140 miles per hour. So, Cedar Shakes are the best against high winds. Now, obviously, there's some drawbacks to Cedar Shakes as well. Some of those main drawbacks include these are more susceptible to water than many of the other types of roofing materials and can build mold, mildew, or rot in humid or in extremely rainy conditions. So if you're in a place in the United States, like the Pacific Northwest, where it's really, really rainy and wet all the time, these may not be a great uh, roofing system for you. And then also, if it's really, really dry and really, really hot, they may not be the best. Now, these systems also are prone to fire damage and will cost extra to coat them for fire resistance, even though you can do that. Now, cedar shakes do not require tons of maintenance. However, these must be cleaned and inspected fairly regularly to prevent mold, moss, and degradation throughout the system. Water cedar shakes also only have a class three impact rating against hill versus some of the other roofing systems that have a stronger class four hill rating. Lastly, you're typically going to see these packaged in five bundles per 100 square feet or one square. You're going to install them using two copper nails per shingle. Typically use this with copper flashing and of course these are biodegradable and they're an extremely green or eco-friendly product. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of the video. Guys, if you have any questions or you want to add any comments, we love getting questions from other contractors or their homeowners. Same thing with the comments. Maybe there's something we missed, something that you want to add. Please leave that in the comment section below. We really appreciate it. And also, if the video was helpful, give us a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And if you haven't subscribed to Digital Roofing Innovations yet, here's your official invitation to subscribe. And at always, Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Have a great day.